This video covers how we create subnets of different sizes. We follow the first step just like we did creating subnets of equal sizes. We get the total number of addresses. We'll assign this to our variable t. We figure that out by saying t equals 2 to the power of 32 minus our net mask or our prefix. And here's an example we will work with today. We're going to create three subblocks starting from the address 14.24.74.0 slash 24. One sublock will be 120 addresses, one subblock, not sunblock, will be 60 addresses, and one subblock will be 10 addresses. So we'll say t, or our, the total number of our addresses, will equal 2 to the 32 minus that 24 prefix, which is 2 to the 8th, for a grand total of 256 addresses. In our second step, we change things up a bit. We now divide the groups from the largest size block to the smallest. That means we'll start with 120, since that was the largest block of the group of addresses that we had. The trick is that each block has to be a power of 2. So we will create our first subblock of 120 addresses, but 120 is not a power of 2. So we'll go up one and we'll say the closest power of 2 that we have is 128. Now this is a little bit different. We want it to be larger than the total number of addresses that is requested. We don't want to short anybody addresses. We want to make sure that they have enough. It still has to be a power of 2, so we'll give them 128 addresses. So now we have our total number is 256, and our group number that we're working with, or G, is going to be 128. Notice again, 120 is not a power of 2, so we assign it to 128. Every single group, as we go through this, and we solve each one will be a power of 2. Our third step is the same as the third step before. We take the logarithm of the total number of addresses divided by the number of addresses in the group. That looks like this. T is 256, G is 128, and P or our prefix is going to be 24 or the original net mask or prefix from our starting address plus the log of 2 to t divided by g, which is 24 plus the log of 2 to 256 divided by 128. Breaking that down even more, 256 divided by 128 is 2. And how do we figure out log 2 of 2? Well, we simply say 2 raised to the power of what will equal 2. In this instance, it's going to be 1. Well. In every instance, it's going to be 1, right? Um, so 2 raised to the power of 1 is going to be 2. Anything raised to the power of 1 is itself. So we have 24 plus 1 equals 25. That gives us a prefix of 25 and a starting address of 14.24.74.0 slash 25. That is our starting address. It is not our first usable address. Our first usable address would be 1 up from that, or 14.24.74.1. The starting address is the network address. And then we're going to go up to 14.24.74.127. So we do have a total of 128 addresses there. Let's do that again. Only now we will divide up a sublock of 60 addresses. 64, where do we get that from? Well, 60 is not a power of 2. So we have to go to the power of 2 that is closest to 60, but still more than 60, still greater than 60. So that is 64. Again, we'll figure out our prefix, and we'll say our prefix is 24, from, that's from our original address, plus log 2 of 4, and that is going to give us 24 plus 2, which is 6. If you haven't caught on to the log 2 yet, 2 raised to the power of what is 4? 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. Oh, and then that decides to come in. Huh, I must have had it in the wrong place. 
So our starting address for this block is going to be 14.24.74.128 slash 26. 128 is one up from 127. Then we'll count up 64 addresses and we end at 14.24.74.191 forward slash 26. So that is our address range for that block of addresses. Finally, we'll go to our last subblock or 10 addresses. Can you guess what number of addresses we need to assign to this subblock? Well, I hope you guessed 16 because that is correct. So we have 16. Oh, this is going to do the same thing. 256 divided by 16 is 16. And log 2 of 16 is 4. So 2 raised to the power of what is 16? That's 4. And if we add 24 plus 4, we get 28. So our last range of addresses then is 14.24.74.192, which is one up from the 191 ending that we had last time, forward slash 28, to 14.24.74.207, forward slash 28, our last set of addresses. To wrap up, we have three sub-blocks that, cre that we created, starting from 14.24.74.0. We created a first sub-block of 128 addresses with a starting address of 14.24.74.0 slash 25. We created one block of 64 addresses with a starting address of 14.24.74.128 slash 26. And we created one sub-block of 16 addresses with a starting address of 14.24.74.192 slash 28. Hopefully that explained how we can create sub-blocks of different sizes and get that forward slash notation figured out for them.